Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Sujay Tile. I'm the CEO of Frontier Car Group, based here in Berlin, uh, just a few blocks away. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, moving away from the, from the rental space into the more marketplace space, Frontier Car Group, in a nutshell, is a set of emerging market auction houses. We've built the largest way for sellers and buyers to buy and sell cars, primarily in emerging markets around the world, from Latin America, Africa, and Asia. Um, just some numbers in a, in a really quick nutshell. Um, you know, we started actually trading our first vehicles only 29 months ago. So we launched in January of 2017 um, and started in four different countries. Today, FCG is present in nine emerging markets. Um, today, we're selling roughly half a billion, north of half a billion dollars worth of cars a year, um, which represents close to 100,000 cars a year. Um, and on that, we make close to 10% revenue margin. So we're taking about 50 million of gross profit every single year, um, less than three years into the business. Um, we've raised about $186 million of equity capital, another $100 million of debt on top of that um, from some folks like TPG and Naspers. And we're headquartered here in Berlin, as I said, with offices all over the world um, where we operate the business. You know, sorry for the text on the slide. The, you know, the core of the issues that we saw, everyone, in emerging markets you know, were relatively the same when we started the business. You know, for sellers like everybody else in the room, you basically had two ways to sell your car. You know, you could sell your car through classifieds and have an onerous process where you meet somebody in a Walmart parking lot in Mexico, um, transact in cash, it's very unsafe. Or you could trade your car into a dealer. And if you do that, you get a terrible price, um, you have a decent experience, it's quick, but it's 30 percent roughly delta of the price that you'll receive on the two processes you have. So you have a terrible way to sell. Dealers, on the other hand, have a terrible way to acquire cars. You know, these guys in, in developed markets typically have access to a mainstream auction house like Mannheim, Odessa, British Car Auction. But in emerging markets, with the lack of these auction houses, dealers are the ones scraping classifieds to purchase cars. So if you can help dealers purchase better, you can also clip a great margin on the cars and deliver them a great experience. For fleets, you know, people like Hertz, Avis, all the big rental car companies, corporates who have large fleets, they face a similar issue in selling. You know, they need to get rid of 100 to 1,000 cars a month, and they are literally listing on classifieds in these emerging markets to sell these cars. So if we as FCG could create a better ecosystem for sellers, be it individuals, be it fleets, to sell vehicles, and for dealers on the buying end to purchase vehicles, there's a good arbitrage that would exist for us to clip as a margin. And once you layer on top of that extra services, you can be a very profitable service very, very quickly. So that's exactly what we've done. You know, our three steps in this business are as follows. First, we have become the de facto way in countries across LATAM, Africa, Southeast Asia, to sell your car. You know, we have created over 400 retail locations where people can drive in and sell their cars. Second, we offer financing. So if you're a buyer, you can get financing when you buy a car. If you're a seller, you can get financing on your next car purchase. And we've partnered with several banks around the world to offer this, and we clip, clip excuse me, great margins on these transactions. And lastly, we're creating a data set. We are the only player in these emerging markets that sits on every single make, model, mile, year car's willingness to pay from every single dealer in the country and every single city, and how that changes by the day. And that data set, in the US, there's a service called Kelly Blue Book, which is something similar. We want to be the Kelly Blue Book of emerging markets. So in a nutshell, FCG today trades over 80,000 cars a year. Um, we trade you know, a little north of 510 million cars, uh, dollars worth of cars a year. Um, and that comes from three sources, as I said. First, consumers driving into one of our locations and selling us their car. Number two is we work with fleets. And number three, for the first time in the last quarter, we now ship cars internationally. We buy cars from the United States, from consumers, and we auction them to dealers in emerging markets. So for these dealers on the same auction platform, they now have access to inventory from their local country and quality inspected cars from abroad. And we handle the logistics end to end. So what happens for the consumer? You know, the consumer service is extremely good. That's how we started FCG. 
You know, when a consumer wants to sell their car, they go to one of our apps. This is an optional process. They enter their make, model, mile, year. We give them a rough price estimate. They make an appointment at one of our locations. For example, in Mexico, we operate more than 70 locations. You drive your car into one of the inspection centers. You get a 15-minute inspection on your car. And then we run a live auction over the next 30 minutes to every single dealer in Mexico. So every dealer in Mexico sees the results of the inspection report and makes a bid in the app. If their bid is the highest, we offer the consumer a slightly lower price because the middle is our margin. And if they agree, they're out of there in 45 minutes with cash in their pocket, and the dealer has won the auction on the back end, and FCG has never taken title of that car. This is what it looks like across our markets. You know, on the top left, or on the left, you see our Nigerian app. We have a brand in Nigeria called Cars 45. It is the number one car business in the entire country. Um, this is a car inspection taking place in Indonesia, and this is a successful sale in Mexico. For the dealers on the buying side, they see the results of the car inspection, they make a bid within the app, and we either offer delivery or pickup at one of our warehouses across the countries. About 18 months ago, FCG started moving into selling fleet vehicles. We now have exclusive relationships with several car businesses, Hertz, Alamo, Avis, Enterprise, National, corporates, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, et cetera, where we actually liquidate all of the fleet cars on their behalf. So for example, Alamo in Mexico will sell us 400 cars a month, and we will buy all 400, run one bulk auction to every dealer in Mexico, and get rid of it on their behalf. The largest auction house in the world um, previously was handling these cars on their behalf. Um, all of the business across Mexico has now gone to our platform, and they have subsequently shut down in Mexico. About 18 months ago as well, we started launching financing. We actually said, if you're a buyer on the platform as a dealer, we'll actually loan you the money to purchase cars. And we've seen a 9x uptick in bids from dealers that have been approved for our financing because it's everything is done at the point of sale. When a dealer wins an auction, the first screen they say, see is pay 100% of the value or pay 30% of the value, and we'll loan you the 70% for 30 to 60 days. We charge a small interest fee on that, and we make quite a bit of margin on those transactions. FCG today is present in nine markets around the world, uh, Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Argentina, Nigeria, India, Pakistan, and Indonesia. We'll be expanding to two more countries within the next three months. And then lastly, we just acquired a business for the first time in the United States called webuyanycar.com. People may be familiar with We Buy Any Car in the UK. We purchased their subsidiary in the USA. That business sources over 2,000 cars a month from consumers, of which we auction them now to our existing dealer networks in Latin America and West Africa. We think about the world, everyone, in four, in four buckets. You know, in the US, you have a very sizable used car market, you know, roughly 40 million cars traded every year, used cars, excuse me. In Europe, 22 million used cars, Auto One's quite dominant here. In China, you have three very dominant, very well-funded players. But if you look at the rest of the world, emerging markets, and let's say you strip out even India, because we just launched there, strip out the USA, you have a market that's roughly the same size as the U uh, of Europe, excuse me, and very fast growing. Rising middle class, rising car ownership, more OEMs, creating factories in these markets. So it's one of the fastest growing regions with little to no competition. I mean, if you look around the world where we are, in Latin America, not a single one of our countries has competition. In Nigeria, not a single piece of competition. There are two markets in which there are local competitors, in India and Indonesia. In Indonesia, we're roughly 3x the number two. You know, the result has been we have uh, inspected over 350,000 cars since we've launched. Um, again, as I told you, we're going to sell north of 80,000 cars this year. We've been able to grow quite a bit um, quarter on quarter. Again, this has roughly tripled from one month or from one year ago. And in terms of net rev margins, um, you know, growing from 0% all the way to 10% where we are today. Uh, I'll skip the team, given time. Um, in terms of capital, we've been very fortunate to have great investors. Our biggest investor is a group called Naspers, um, who owns OLX, which is the dominant classifieds business around the world. And we've partnered with them in several countries, India, Indonesia, Colombia, Argentina, where sellers who would list their car on classifieds for the first time now have the ability to sell their cars directly through a service, which is FCG. 
And so we've gotten very deeply integrated with Naspers as a strategic investor who made you know, roughly a $100 million investment late last year. Um, and we'll be doing a lot more with them over the course of the next several years. Thank you.